Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. So friends, in this video, we will see uh, some of the most important and frequently asked MCQs of Engineering Physics PHY110. A lot of you were requesting me to make a video of last three unit MCQs, which was the most, uh, which is the most important unit for your upcoming exam. So in this video, we will cover those questions, those most important questions. I have already made a video of unit number one, two, and three. You can go to the description box. You will find the link of those videos in the description box. So, friends, the first question is the quantum mechanical model of the atom was proposed by option A, Louis de Broglie, option B, Erwin Schrödinger, option C, Neil Bohr, and last option is Werner Hessenberg. Correct option is option number B, Erwin Schrödinger. Next question. The uncertainty principle states that the error in measurement is due to what? Option A, dual nature of properties. Option B, due to the sum, small size of particle. Option C is due to the large size of particle. And last option is due to the error in measuring instrument. Correct option is option number B, due to the small size of particles. M moving to the next question. According to the de Broglie, what property of particle is associated with wave-like behavior? Is it mass, charge, spin or momentum? Correct option is option number D, momentum. Next question. What is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle concerned with? Option A, velocity and time, energy and position, momentum and position and last option is frequency and wavelength. The uncertainty principles concerned with the momentum and position. Option C is correct for this question. Next question. Which phenomenon provides Evidence for the particle nature of light and was explained by Einstein using quantum theory. Very simple question and very generic question which is generally asked in all the exams. Option is interference, option B, diffraction, option C is photoelectric effect and last option is Com uh, Compton scattering. Correct option is option number C, photoelectric effect. Moving to the next question, what is the primary motivation for the development of quantum mechanics? Option A, to explain classical mechanics. Option B, to understand the behavior of subatomic particles. Option C, to improve classical wave theory. And last option is, to describe macroscopic system. Correct option is option number B, the, to understand the behavior of subatomic particles. Next question, which of the following describe the concept of group velocity in wave function? Option is velocity of a single wave. Average velocity of a group of waves, C, phase velocity and last option is instantaneous velocity of a wave. Correct option is option number B, average velocity of a group of waves. Next question, in the free electron theory, electrons in a metal are assumed to behave like what? Option A, particle with fixed position, option B, waves with definite frequencies, option C, free particles moving independently and last option is waves confined to energy bands. Correct option will be option number C, free particles moving independently. Moving to the next question, what does the Fermi energy represents in a solid? Option A, highest occupied energy level at absolute zero. Option B, energy required to move an electron to a higher level. Option C, energy gap between valence and conduction band. And last option is average energy of electrons in a material. Correct option is option A, highest occupied energy level at absolute zero. Guys, all these questions are very important as you know very well that last three unit is important, very much important. Because maximum of the questions asked from the last three unit. So do not skip any of the questions, go thoroughly all the questions. If you don't know the concept, just remember the questions, you will get the better score. Next question. What does the Fermi energy represents in a solid? Option A, highest occupied energy level at absolute zero. Option B, energy required to move an electron to a higher level. Option C, energy gap between valence and conduction band. Last option is average, average energy of electron in a material. Correct option is option A. Moving to the next question, which type of semiconductor has a small energy gap between the valence and conduction band? Is it intrinsic semiconductor? Option B, extrinsic semiconductor. Option C, direct band gap semiconductor. And last option is indirect band gap semiconductor. Correct option will be option C, direct band gap semiconductor. 
has a small energy gap between the valence and conduction band. Next question. What is the Hall effect related to, to in a semiconductor? Is it diffusion of charge carriers, drift of charge carrier, magnetic properties or thermal conductivity? Correct option is option number B. Hall effect is related to the drift of charge carriers in a semiconductor. Next question. In solar cells, what is the main purpose of semiconductor? Option A, emitting light. Option B, absorbing sunlight. Next option is conducting electricity. And last option is storing energy. Correct option is option number C, con conducting electricity. Next question, what is the primary characteristics of dielectric materials? Now we are taking the question about the last unit. I am not saying that the, uh, further all the questions are the last, last unit. Uh, we will discuss some of more questions of unit 4 and unit 5 also. So keep patience and watch the video till the end. What is the primary characteristics of dielectric material? Option A, high electrical conductivity. Option B, low electrical conductivity. Magnetic properties or high thermal conductivity. Correct option is option B, low electrical conductivity. Next question. What types of magnetic material are attracted are attracted to a magnetic field? Option A, diamagnetic, paramagnetic, ferromagnetic or piezoelectric. Correct option is option B. Paramagnetic types of material are attracted to a magnetic field. Next question. Which superconducting effect involves the exclusion of magnetic flux from the interior of a material? Option A, Misner effect. Option B, jo uh, option, e, option B, Jospin's effect. Option C, London effect. And last option is flux quantization effect. Correct option is option A. Missner effect. Moving to the next question, what is the application of magnetic data storage in a material? Option A, hard drives. Option B, solar cells. Next question, superconductors. And last option is piezoelectric device. Correct option will be option A, hard drives. Next question, in piezoelectric material, what happens when an electric field is applied? Option A, expansion. Option B, contraction. Option C, change in shape. And last option is generation of an electric field. Guys, all these questions are important. Do not miss even a single question. Do not miss. If you miss one question, means you are decrementing your marks by one. So, keep it, uh, take it seriously and just go all through the, all the questions. Correct option is option C, change in shape. Next question. What property of a particle is described by its wave function in quantum mechanics? Is it mass, charge, position or spin? Very simple question. Position is the correct option. Next question. Which equation is used to describe the time evolution of a quantum system? Option A, Schrodinger equation. Option B, Heisenberg equation. Next option, Dirac equation. And last option is Bohr's equation. Correct option is option number A, Schrodinger equation is used to describe the time evolution of a quantum system. Next question. In the particle, in a box model, what happens to the energy level as a box size decreases? Is it, it will increase or decrease or remain constant or become unpredictable? Correct option is option number A, it will increases. Next question, what is the tunneling effect in a quantum mechanics? Option A, particle acceleration. Option B, particle decay. Option D, C is particle penetration through a barrier. And last option is particle reflection from a barrier. Correct option is option number C, particle penetration through a barrier. Next question, according to the quantum mechanics, what is the significance of a wave function squared? Is it a pro probability density? Option B, phase information. Option C, amplitude of the wave. And last option is kinetic energy. Correct option is option number A, probability density. Next question. What is the primary difference between a conductor and an insulator in terms of a band structure? Option A, conductors have a higher winder ga band gap. Option B, conductors have a partially filled conduction band. Option C, insulator have a higher Fermi energy. And last option is, insulator have a completely filled valence band. 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी कंडक्टर हैव अ पार्सियली फिल्ड कंडक्शन बैंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन सेमी कंडक्टर वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर ऑन द कंडक्टिविटी इज इट इट विल इंक्रीज डिक्रीज रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट और बिकम्स अनप्रेडिक्टेबल करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट विल इंक्रीजेज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इफेक्टिव मास इन द थ्योरी ऑफ सॉलिड ऑप्शन ए मास ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इन वैक्यूम ऑप्शन बी मास ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन अ क्रिस्टल लैटिस ऑप्शन सी मास ऑफ अ प्रोटोन इन अ क्रिस्टल लैटिस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज मास ऑफ अ न्यूट्रॉन इन वैक्यूम करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी मास ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज क्रिस्टल लैटिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इफेक्टिव मास इन द थ्योरी ऑफ सॉलिड मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन What is the primary function of a Fermi direct distribution function in solid state physics? Option A, describing the energy level of electrons. Option B, describing the probability distribution of electrons' speed. Option C is describing the distribution of lattice vibration. Last option is describing the distribution of magnetic moments. Correct option is option number A, describing the energy level of electrons. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द हॉल इफेक्ट यूज्ड टू मेजर इन सेमीकंडक्टर्स ऑप्शन ए इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑप्शन बी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑप्शन सी इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज टेंपरेचर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी इज द हॉल इफेक्ट यूज टू मेजर इन सेमी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन In magnetic material, what is the characteristic behavior of ferromagnetic substance below the query temperature? Option A, spontaneous magnetization. Option B, zero magnetization. Option C, exponential magnetization. And last option is reversible magnetization. Correct option for this question is option number A, spontaneous magnetization. Moving to the thirteenth number question. What is the primary property that distinguishes type one and type two superconductors? Option A, critical temperature. Option B, critical magnetic field. Option C, critical current density. And last option is critical resistance. Correct option for this question will be option number B, which is critical magnetic field. Next question: What is the application of inverse piezoelectricity in piezoelectric materials? Option A. Generating elect electrical voltage. Option B, generating mechanical deformation. Option C, storing magnetic energy. And last option is emitting light. Correct option for this question is option number B, generating mechanical deformation is the application of inverse piezoelectricity in piezoelectric materials. Next question. Which type of material exhibits a strong Meissner effect in the presence of magnetic field? Option A, superconductor. Option B, insulator. Option C, semiconductor. And last option is dielectric. Correct option will be option number A, superconductor. Is the type of material exhibits a strong Meissner effect in the presence of magnetic field? Next question. What is the primary purpose of doping in semiconductor materials? Option A increase electrical resistance, option B decrease electrical conductivity, option C introduce impurities in control conductivity and last option is enhance mechanical strength. Correct option is option number C introduce impurities to control conductivity is the primary purpose of doping in semiconductor material. Moving to the next question What is the energy band gap in a insulator? Is it zero, small, large, or negative? Very important question. I frequently ask question. Correct option is option number C. Option number C, large. Okay. Next question, which is the last question of this video. According to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, if the uncertainty in the position of a particle decreases, what happens to the uncertainty in its momentum? is it it will decrease increase remains constant or it will become zero so correct option is option number b it will increases so this was the last question thank you so much for watching the video till the last if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please do subscribe the channel and share this video in all the groups thank you so much